Spring is finally here, and with spring comes maple syrup. People gathered at the Center of Urban Ecology located in the Humber Arboretum over the weekend to learn more about the production of maple syrup. We spoke with senior nature interpreter Lynn Short about the day's events. I'm doing a program to explain how we make maple syrup. Um, it's, it's kind of a unique, unique product in, uh, in all of the world. There's only one place that you can make maple syrup and that's northeastern North America. Fifteen trees in the bush have been tapped to collect the maple sap. In order to collect the maple sap, the perfect temperature must be present. That is below zero at night and warmer temperatures during the day. Once the sap is collected in tin buckets throughout the day, it is boiled over a fire. Under a watchful eye, the sap slowly turns to syrup. We spoke to some children who attended the program about what they were looking forward to and what they learned. Finding some sap from the maple syrup. You get sap from the tree and you boil it. Attendees got to sample some of last year's maple syrup. So next time you're pouring that maple syrup on your pancakes and waffles, you'll be able to enjoy it that much more, knowing exactly how much work actually goes into it. For The Daily Planet, I'm Lally Reese Chapman.